Hello everyone. Um, I've still got my blanket on my legs. I'm still, you know, suffering with cold legs. Um, so I just thought I'd come on because um, I've told you before, I'm looking for a wheelchair accessible bungalow um, through the council. I'm currently with Guinness Housing. Um, they're trying to find me um, an alternative property that's suitable for the wheelchair. I'm also with um, a housing association called Habinteg, which are for wheelchair accessible properties as well, as well as Milton Keynes Council. Since October, um, Milton Keynes Council have now offered me two properties, both of which have been disabled, I would say, rather than wheelchair accessible. They are 100% not wheelchair accessible. Now, I thought wheelchair accessible actually meant wider doors. And I, I kind of Googled the new reg regulations. Um, new regulations now for new builds is that the doors have to be 850 millimetres. Um, what I didn't know until last week when, when they offered me this property again, um, because it's now been what they call void, apparently. Um, so it's ready now. The council have done what they've got to do inside and it's ready for somebody to view it inside, get the keys, sign for it, move in. <clears throat> I'd already been told about it. So I'd gone and looked a few weeks ago, maybe three or four weeks ago even, um, from the outside. And I went up to the front door and the front door is actually narrower than my front door. So I knew straight away, well, it's not a wheelchair accessible property because the front door gives it away. I mean, the front door needs to be wide for me to get in for a start. And then I've got to be able to get into each room. I looked through the window into the front bedroom. That's smaller than what I've got here. I looked into the living room. That's smaller than what I've got here. I couldn't even go round the back. There's no way of the wheelchair getting round there. So if there was a fire, I'd be stuck in the back garden. If I couldn't get out the front, I'd have to go out and just sit in the back garden. God knows how they'd get me out. Um, so it just, it, it wasn't wheelchair accessible. Now the council said, oh, but it has, it's got an automatic front door. It's got a ramp up to the front door. It's got a lowered kitchen and it's got a wet room. So the council think that because it's got those things, it's wheelchair accessible. What people fail to realize is a wheelchair needs a lot of turning circle. Now I knew this, and this is why I said I knew about the 850 meter, uh, millimeter um, measurement for a door. It turns out when I contacted the OT team, because I thought, you know, they're going to probably keep pushing this and they'll expect me to go and view this property. So I emailed the OTs. They actually emailed me back the next morning and then I got a phone call from them. And the OT was so helpful. I wish to God she'd come and looked at properties with me when I needed a property in the beginning because I wouldn't have accepted this place with her with me. Um, so... She said that because I don't have hands and I have to have a carer 24 seven, I actually need more room because the carer needs room to be with me. So all of my doorways need to be 900 to 1000 millimeters. That's 10 inches wider on the 1000 millimeters than what I've got at the minute. That's a lot. Um, every room has got to have a two metre turning circle in it. So a bathroom, I mean, mine is a fraction of the size it should be. It's, it's at least, at least I would say two foot by two foot, smaller than what it should be, um, easily. So, and the hallways need to have that two metre turning circle. My hallways are very narrow. So... It's quite funny how people think that a wheelchair accessible property is just level access. They think that if it's got a ramp or it's flat and you can just ride in, it's wheelchair accessible. 
they also think that having a wet room and a lowered kitchen and things like that make it a wheelchair accessible property. You know, they've had adjustments. And if somebody's in a wheelchair, they might be in a little a little one that's, you know, they can they can walk around in the property, but they just use the wheelchair maybe when they go out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um so yeah, I just I just kind of need to raise this awareness. I get quite angry about my disability and how people don't understand how disabilities affect everybody differently. What I need is different to what another disabled person might need or maybe even a different wheelchair user might need. So we all have different needs. The council just see, well, it's a wheelchair accessible property that's suitable for you. They don't know the measurements. They don't know what the property's like. I try to tell them and they're like, no, but you have to see it. You have to see it. You have to go and view it. <laughs> I don't know how to get through to them. So I've decided that I'm going to start a bit of a campaign against them. So I've sent the um, housing officer a complaint. I've sent the council a complaint. And I've sent a complaint to the housing ombudsman. My next step is to email my MP, although he's useless. Don't know why I'm bothering. He won't do anything. He just says, well, that's down to the council. I don't have any, I don't have any jurisdiction over properties. Um, but no, but you could actually go to government and make them build wheelchair accessible bungalows. The whole country is struggling to house people that are in wheelchairs. It's pretty bad over most of the country. Um, I only need a two bedroom. Some people want a one, some people need a three, some people might even need a four, I don't know. I know of a family that need a three bedroom desperately. Um, the son has a lift in the house. He's now no longer allowed to use the lift because of his disability. It's dangerous for him. And this is so, so bad because they just don't have wheelchair accessible properties available for her. And it's heartbreaking because this lad is such a lovely, lovely lad. And I just wish to God the government would do more. So there you are. I have my grumble for today. <laughs> Take care, guys. Keep safe. Talk soon.